What's up everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Grifflands. I don't know if you saw that on the title page, but one more day until we get an update. I'm excited for what the team has in store for us. But for today, we're doing our Sal boss rush. We've got a mulligan draft. We have a pet. Uh, discarding is not going to happen. And we can't skip card drafts, which doesn't matter because we draft a series of three cards anyway. Win the challenge without letting any enemies surrender or flee in battle. Oh, I don't plan on it, so... Cool. Win a battle in a single turn, how would you even do that, though? How? Explain to me. So, I know what I like. What I like is bleed cards. And discard. And this can be great because we have such a full hand. And... Actually, I think I don't want you anymore. There you go. There's a better discard. And I guess I'll have to accept you. Uh, draw three cards, gain two counter. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Exertion's great. It also makes your deck thinner. Uh, healing on bleed is fantastic. Attack one random target. No, thank you. I'd like some defense, please, or another discard. There you go. I got both. Would you look at that? Uh, apply one wound to the beginning of your turn. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically guaranteed one wound on the, on the boss every turn. Feels great. So, we don't want to take 11 damage. So we'll discard you. We will discard you. Defend ourselves a bit, bleed you a bit, and just deal with the after effects. We're just going to hold this in hand for a bit uh, until until our hand is very full. Hold on, did I read that mutator right? Mental overload. No longer discard your hand at the end of your turn. Okay, I did read it right. I just played every card in my hand. We are taking no damage this turn. So let's let's just go off on them. I know what I said earlier, but that looked really nice. It's a lot of damage, it's a lot of momentum. And we are not taking damage this turn, but he has five counter. Get you out of here. Gain a bit more defense. Do we need it? No. He's going to hit us for five, which we will block completely. So we can just hit him for that much, which will bring his shield down, which will ensure that you actually do damage. Okay, big attack coming in. We have no means of reducing it. Uh, discard the two cards. You can go and you can go. Uh, there's no way we're doing 40 damage to him in one turn. You do have two stacks of bleed though. And by bleed, I mean wound. It's still not going to happen. Still not going to happen. So I think our best move here is just hit him for 15. Because otherwise we could do 6 to 7, 6 to 8. Which, now that I've worked it out out loud, is much more damage. Play slice last, you big dummy. It gives you more bleed. There you go. And we're just going to eat a big hit to the face. But he should be almost dead now. He is. Let's make sure we leech up before we end him. He's already taken 10 damage from our pet. So how much bleed can we put on him? Well, we're taking 10 damage this turn. We want to make sure he's being put down. 
So actually, I think this is where we get off. So we heal for three. Are any of these cards near uh, upgrade? You are. You being upgraded is better than you not being upgraded. All right, you're already made to surrender. And then we'll get our defense closer. All right, and uh, no survivors. Stomp gets upgraded. Just make it four to nine is 6.5 damage on average. So we pick that one. Uh, no, thank you. Do we have the complete the challenge with 10 health or less when a battle on a single turn? We don't have to cycle through your deck 20 times one. Uh, but wound is twice as effective. It's fantastic considering they have wound every turn. Now, I'm liking this. Apply to bleed, then gain defense equal to target's bleed. Discard a card, improvise a card. I'm liking these because there's a lot of discard in here. There's bleed and bleed, so I'll take it. Tend to your entries. Now, I'm going to grab the healing vapors because they replenish. And healing is really good. So, he doesn't have adds, but I'm going to play you. And you know what? Got nothing else going here. So I'm just going to hold. Thankfully you didn't get her. Her hand is full already. And you're not hitting us again. So enjoy your defense. This can only go on me. Discard with two cards. Healing Vapors, I don't need you yet. You can go. You've played two cards this turn. There you go. There's a nice bleed starter for you. Now, we're not getting hit, but we would like to discard you, and it's too early to play to play leech, so you can get out of here as well. Okay, one energy left. I'm feeling like we put the most bleed on him as we can. I feel like I overestimate Slice. Uh, he has a bunch of counter. Hold on. Discard a card. Uh, discard healing vapors. He's not hitting us this turn, so we can hit him one time really hard. So we ate the counter, and then our little guy gets hurt quite a bit. Now he's finally coming after us. We gonna gain four defense. I don't believe we have any other defense cards in hand, so let's start bleeding him out. He has 19 health left. We could bleed him out again. I'm thinking instead we play Leech for the little heal. Uh, that way the card also gets closer to being upgraded. Now we are not being attacked this turn, so instead, you can go, and you can go. 10 damage. We've got 10 damage in here somewhere, right? <sighs> Should have counted first. And get put down. Pretty easy fight, pretty easy fight. What, what are we looking for? Replenish. Do we want two extra damage or do we want a bigger hand? Uh, 
we had a did a pretty good job of having our hand full the entire time, so you can do two extra damage. I'm not really the f a big fan of just having one extra bleed. It, it's it's a big gamble. I just want this one. It's objectively better than the base. You and all allies gain two defense. Well, we never improvise, so it doesn't really matter what we chose. That's a it's unfortunate for us. Draw a card, discard up to two cards. Yeah, let's uh, discard it with three cards. We don't have multi-hit cards, so it's not as powerful as it could be. Zin's Razor, though, huge get. Huge get. And I feel like we should maybe just not. Or we can upgrade three random battle cards. Yeah, that's a smart choice. Improvise a card from discard, gain four defense. And this card is improvised, and you attack in combo. Okay, we're, we're getting a little dangerous here, but last rate, fantastic card. Uh, whenever you discard a card, gain one power till the end of your turn, we discard fairly often. And if you have discarded a card, this card costs zero. I feel like they synergize well together. Select an upgrade option. Oh, this is because of our graft install. Uh, how about you cost zero, five bleed, and a wider range. There you go. Ten to your injuries. Do we want more healing vapors? I think we're going to mess up our, our deck. We'll draw too much. So let's go for the big score. All right. It might be our last daily for a while, depending on what the new update is. So big score. Big gambles. It'll be it'll be nice. Okay, we are getting hit for ten this turn. I am thinking we go one, two. We're getting hit for eight. Getting hit for seven. Getting hit for two. Now that's actually going to be a handful. We are not getting hit this turn. So go ahead, get Shadow Mastery going. Let's discard a few cards. Like you can go, and you can go. All right. He's not doing any damage to us, but we now we have Zin's Razor, which is huge. Let's go ahead and impair you. This will help a lot in the future. Now, we just want to hit many times, like this and this. His bleed is going to stack up incredibly well because Zin's Razor. So let's discard a card. We are not going to play Healing Vapors this turn, so you can go. Uh, we would like to gain many actions. Now, are we going to discard any more cards this turn? We have five actions. We're playing you. We might. We're not going to play Leech. So this is two, four, five actions. So we don't need, or we have the ability to play everything we want. So you get hit first. Let's play Freighter first, just, just in case. Psionic feedback is free. Apply bleed equal to damage dealt. Don't mind if I do. He has 19 bleed on himself now. And there you go. I feel like we're going to take one damage. That's fine by me. He still has 10 stacks of bleed on him. What a fantastic place to be. With, Zin Ra with Zin's Razor still in hand, we would love to jab. However, there is no however, just play it. 
just just bully the man. Okay. We have too much stuff in hand. Kind of expected. Let's see what we can discard. You can go. You can go. You can go. Okay. We have a ton of temporary power. So your freighter is no longer worth it. This is now the move. And we can impair him. Huge. And that's it. He's made to surrender. Fantastic. With the, uh, I think Shadow Mastery was a fantastic add uh, because when we discard cards through, what's the name of it? I really should at some point learn the names of the cards. Boosted Scatter, we can, we were doubling up on our temporary power. You gain two actions and draw a card. Yeah, replace yourself. Five bleed, thank you. Uh, we discard most turns, so let's just boost your damage. We would like you to cost one or ambush. Uh, having you cost one ensures that our entire turn isn't based around you. And our deck is small enough that we'll get it when we need it anyway. Okay. The start of every third turn, improvise a card from a drop pile, gain three temporary power, gain four defense if you have blah blah blah. Let's get more points instead. We don't improvise. Any attack cards you improvise, finish your spend combo. Oh, thank you. Tend to our injuries. We're doing all right. Remove a battle card. Where is that combo card? Spend two combo. You are not necessary. You are cheap, but we have other things we would rather play. Okay. Apply bleed to everybody. Thankfully, we're not getting hit this turn. Now, get hurt because you're going to be a big pain. Okay, I want as many of you to survive for the fight with Glorfin because it's always kind of scary. We are not getting hit, so let's discard a few cards. Uh, I'll choose up to two, so this is our unupgraded version of Scatter. You're free now. So you can get put down. And then we just start making you bleed. There you go. And yeah, I always check, but cannot put you on anybody else. Okay, we have no damage coming in. You're boosting yourself for something dumb like that. Um, do we have any means of putting the hurt on you? We do not. I'm looking at the big score, all right? I'm playing it. And I'm going to play you just to discard Barb Doll. That was, a, that was a greedy turn, but I think it's better to play it now than in the upcoming fight. Now, this is a power boost. We're taking 10 damage this turn. Who are we taking it from? You, which means we have no way of avoiding it, really. Let's gain two actions and draw a card. It's going to be a big turn for us. You're taking six. We can make you, excuse me, I'm trying to grab this card, take 19 instead. So six makes 25, and you'll have bleed on you, which is 26. You wouldn't be dead. You wouldn't be dead. However, no, I think we still go for removing the Oshnu here. Uh, any single attack in the future will kill you. Let's go ahead and get Battle Mastery ready. Two attacks left. 
I'm thinking I'm thinking we bleed you and then bleed you. Talking about Olo here. Because she doesn't have wound on her, so Tall Burst doesn't benefit from it as much. And two bleed attacks will work better with Zin's Razor. We are getting hit for 10, but that's alright. That's all we have all this health for. Or well, we're getting hit for 11, but it doesn't change anything. Oh, cool. And you applied bleed as well. So, healthy. Uh, I'm going to play the big score. Enjoy our huge point boost. We are going to do nothing else. Why do we only have two actions? I feel like we only had two actions that turn. Anyway, we can discard a card. Let's go ahead and discard this bleed card. Leech card. Uh, you're being killed by Olo. I can't do 53 damage in one turn. However, I might be able to put you down. So, enjoy that. 17 damage. We're getting there, we're getting there. So this is 5 to 7, which means you're also 5 to 7. So that's 10 to 14 plus a ton of bleed. Yeah, you're definitely being put down. Okay, you're dead already. Two actions left. Three to five, and then I can put a little bit of defense on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then a little bit of this. Perfect. Now that I think about it, because bleed gets applied to everybody, I might have been fine just attacking Olo, but that's too much math for this point. Uh, we are not fatigued yet, so let's see if we can't upgrade our stuff a little bit more. Are we going to discard anything this turn? Well, we're not taking any damage. So, you can get discarded, you can get discarded. You are now free. Two actions left. Go ahead, put the bleed on you. It won't make you surrender right away. But it does mean that when we do this, we heal the full, and you're surrendering before you can hurt our buddy. And no survivors. All right. Bloodbath, get upgraded, cost one. Leech, get upgraded, heal twice. Uh, let's go ahead and draw, discard to put three cards. The target has five or more bleed, apply and pair two. Fantastic, we need the ability to debuff the enemy. That's huge. Looks like everything is upgraded. You love to see it. Charge disc, hits all enemies, apply wound two. Because wound is so good for us, yeah. Yeah, I want it. First attack each battle applies three wound. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. And actually, now that I think about it, having a slightly bigger deck for well, Glaufrium, the slug dude, the bog monster, is nice because when they take your cards, it doesn't hamstring you as badly. Whenever you discard a card, gain one defense. And provide an attack. Uh, I'm still going to decline, though. You're coming with me though. And heal your pet. And another big score. Or another little score. Destroy after five uses, so this would be 300 points. Uh, I'm not liking that this would take four plays to, to pop. I'm going to take the little score. Call me a coward. But that would have been a lot to deal with. So we didn't get any of our powers turn one. That's fine. We can wait a little bit. Because high, the High Priest doesn't matter as much. Uh, there are some turns where we get a nice power boost. So I'd like saving this for then. 
I would like to save this for when we have Shadow Mastery and like the discard three. So there's Shadow Mastery. There's Pale Bloodbath. Now we're all set. No means to defend myself, so I'm just going to take 10 to the chin. Uh, get impaired, actually. So we're only taking 7. And you're enjoying a ton of damage. Alright. So, we learned last time that these guys only get stunned if the bog monster's out, so don't worry about it too much. Uh, you can just get rid of this burn. Not really as helpful as you would think. Uh, what else are we doing? Sure, let's go ahead and delete these for now. Also remove healing vapors, we don't need it right now. This is free. What? Where's the healing coming from? Is it you? I don't know. If I attack you, you're dead. 11, 18, 10. Yeah, so attacking you. Wrong target, dude. Wrong target. Just blast them. Don't think about it too much, just start blasting. So we took six damage, but the eyes are gone. So we can focus fire on you better. We gain two actions, draw a card. Let's start discarding some cards. Did we play Shadow Mastery already? We did, and Bloodbath. So, discarding a bunch of cards is real nice. However, we don't have a very powerful turn right now. Let's discard Burn and the Barb Doll and Healing Vapors. We won't need them for a bit. Uh, two actions left. Let's just go ahead and stack Bleed on you. We need to make sure we get Zin's Razor at some point. Or have room for it. All right. So speak up to the devil. Uh, let's see. We can set you off because we do bleed to everybody. Attacking you is sure to put enough bleed on the side pieces to kill them once you explode. So focus on this. 13 damage. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Make space in your hand. Get this out of here. Gain two actions and draw a card. Okay, 14 damage. They've got bleed on them. Hits. He has 10 health, 9 health because of bleed. So he'll have. This could kill him. If it's 4. Or five. No, because of the Zin's Razor, you're dead. Cool. And with you dead, we can focus on this guy in the back. How much power up do we have? One? Alright. We won't play con Concussion just yet. Instead, we'll go ahead and heal. And save nothing. Because we have another concussion, we'll just play it later. We'll just play it later. Because waiting for the best moment is going to end up with us never playing it. Yeah, you can't spend your whole game waiting for the perfect moment. Kind of just have to rush him down. So, what are we doing this turn? We are removing you, removing you, removing you. All right. Only have one action. Is it? Is hold on. Where is it at? Lose one action next turn. I'm so dumb. Uh, get impaired. Taking five, but it's unblockable. I accept this. I don't accept this. This is baloney. All right. Why are you dying? Who's killing you? The ground monster is attacking everybody. And you're impaired already. All right, what do we do about this? We 
need to go extremely aggro this turn. So, remove those three cards. It'll give us plenty of power. All right, which cards would we like to get back first? Zin's Razor is very important. This is not as important. This is not as important. Okay. So, they go straight into our hand. If we kill you, which we will if we play Concussion, we'll get boosted feedback for free. Or we'll, we'll get boosted feedback and be able to play it for free. Because we discarded this turn. Uh, and then that means we can do 5 to 7 plus, we'll be able to do 11 to 13 damage, right? Am I doing this? 6, six plus 7 is 13, yes. Uh, and then playing it on every on you ensures we do 8 to 15 because wound stacks twice. And you're being attacked by our ally. So I think the move is you get destroyed. We play this for free. Yeah. Yeah. Shoot everybody. Which ensures we get our razor back. And we're okay. Because you're being killed. Alright, we made it through the nightmare turn. Yeah, we made it through the nightmare turn real easily. Handful, you're just getting bodied this turn. Let's see, what else can we do? Remove this from my deck. Okay, enjoy your bleed stacks. Bog vision means we just hit everybody. And if we're going to hit everybody, let's discard some cards. You can go... Uh, we don't need two of you. Hit everybody, please. Perfect. You love to see it. One action left. Let's go ahead and put the bleed on anybody. Because that puts bleed on everybody. I want less bog creature to deal with in the future. So you're dead. Can we discard? Yep. Thank you. Focus on the bog boy. Enjoy all your bleed. And your impair. And he's just going to get bullied down to nothing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, a little, a little cheeky, a little cheeky 60 extra points. We can just stack bleed on you. No, 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 no. We discard many cards. One, two, three. We don't need the healing vapors right now. Hit you just for a dumb amount of bleed. So you're going to steal my stuff again? You're going to steal my stuff again. How dare you. Very rude. We're getting this back already. We don't need this one as much. We don't need this one as much. What did you take? Well, with 50 health left, let's discard a card. It is a big hit that we're taking. You're dead, and there's nothing we can do about it. But I'm thinking, maybe we just rushed you down. This is going to sound weird, and I'm not going to think about it too much. I'm going to discard these three cards. This is going to do a dumb amount of damage. 10 plus 10 bleed. Thank you for my cards. All right, what is this? Complete the challenge with 10 health or less remaining. All right, we can stop healing for a bit. Uh, this is free, discard you. How much damage do we need to do to remove you guys from my life? We 
we don't have any damage cards. So remove those. 9 to 11. There you go. You're dying. Give me my card back. Alright, you're being made to flee, you're being made to flee. But you only have 11 health left. You're just going to bleed out. So, what discard? There you go. Get rid of these. Uh, we can go ahead and destroy this little cluster here. We need to be careful that we don't kill you too quickly. 15 health. I'm trying to finesse it, but I really don't want to throw away the whole game. Well, no matter what, if we attack you next turn, you're dead. Yeah, nothing we can do about it. You're dead. Just get out of here. I should have played the little score first. Oh well. Uh, wouldn't challenge about letting enemies surrender or flee? You betcha. I think that's our highest score yet with the great note to finish on. 3,460 points. And that's the daily. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, like the video if you enjoy the content. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And tune in tomorrow where we get a look at uh, the big update that's coming in. See ya.